MS multiple sclerosis is a chronic neurological disease where the immune system attacks the nervous system. These patients will have a number of different symptoms. They can have visual problems, muscle weakness, a lack of coordination and even fatigue. So within MS, there is a huge range of variability in disease outcome. Some patients have just a single episode and really have very little disability, and others go on to develop very severe disability with multiple relapses. So our research set out to find whether there's any change in the immune system that might be able to predict many years down the line what outcome each individual patient might have. In our study, we took samples of spinal fluid from patients with MS and we analysed them for a certain type of antibody. We discovered a very large excess of one particular type of antibody. This was related to those patients that actually developed very little disability progression. Those that had a much more severe course of their disease had a lower ratio of these antibodies. This means that by taking this sample of spinal fluid and analysing these molecules, we have some indicator of how their disability progression might occur. This research has the potential to develop a very simple test by which we can predict the ultimate disease progression in an individual patient. This means at their time of diagnosis, the clinician who's treating them will have some idea about how aggressive their treatment might have to be. There are many different treatments available for patients with MS today. Unfortunately, some of these are very expensive or have very severe side effects, and it's important that we only target those therapies to the patients that need them. So with this research going forwards, what we'd first like is for another research group to validate our findings, preferably in a much larger cohort of individuals. Our own studies are now going to focus on exactly what molecules these antibodies bind to within the brain of these patients.